Today, we're gonna put the oil sump on the engine. One step closer. Welcome back everybody. We're still waiting on parts to finish up the heads with the uh, rocker arm shims so let's do another little job on the engine here. Today we're going to try and get this uh, oil sump in on the bottom of the engine. Seems to be a pretty straightforward and simple task so let's get to it. Okay, basically there's not a lot of components. Um, there's a reusable filter that goes in the bottom. Uh, you get the pickup tube that comes uh, attached to the cases when you get the kit. There's this uh, couple gaskets that come with the the uh, oil sump kit. This is the one you want to use with the round hole, not the elongated hole. That's going to go to the pickup tube on the engine box. Okay, then the, the filter is going to be the next component, but uh, we got to work in reverse starting with the, uh, the sump itself. So I've already just finger tightened the drain plug and there's a uh, thin, appears to be uh, aluminum. They say copper in the instructions, uh, copper washer, but I, this one appears to be aluminum. Still a soft, soft malleable material which should create a good seal at the bottom of the sump. Uh, like I said, I'm just putting this on finger tight for now. We'll try and remember to make sure we tighten that before we put oil in the engine. And if you're not going to be using a return line to the oil sump, there's a quarter NTP national pipe, tra pipe thread plug that goes into the side of this, but uh, I am going to have a return line, so I'm going to leave that open for now. Uh, that hole needs to be to the left side of the engine, so bottom of the engine, front of the engine, left side, I'm going to place this hole away from me. Now there's a spring for pressure. That sits really snugly over the uh, boss in the bottom of the sump. Then there's the pressure relief valve, which is a small aluminum uh, cylindrical device that has a ball in it with a spring behind the ball. I know you can't see this, but, uh, and then there's a driven pin uh, going across the cavity, keeping pressure on the ball. And I'm sure that spring is pressure rated to release at a certain point but there is a, a a groove around the large face of this that fits right into the diameter of that spring perfectly so that's it that part's ready to go all we really need to do beyond that is there is a rubber grommet which creates the seal uh, in the sheet metal end of the reusable filter and the ends are identical on this the end with the grommet is the part that's going to sit down on the pressure release valve so that's it that's complete and when we install this onto the motor just have to compress that down and it'll be good to go but before we do that we need a gasket. Uh, same task, same method we used on the last job with the oil pump. We're just going to take some of the regular motor oil and coat both sides of the uh, paper gasket, letting it soak in and saturate the uh, saturate through the paper that will create a little swelling in the paper or fiber material here and once the 
sump pump is torqued into place, it should create a really good seal. I probably should prep some of this stuff before I start filming, but uh, that's not how I roll. I figure, you know, makes these videos a little longer sometimes, but um, gives you guys a better idea of exactly how long it takes to do some of these tasks. What I do do, though, is I generally will, you know, take the time to read the instructions once, twice, sometimes more if something's not very clear, and make sure I understand it well before I start the task. So, all right, I've got that, uh, you can tell it changed color because it's uh, saturated with the motor oil now. I'm going to get that gasket on the block here and try and get a little less slippery here. Uh, the kit also comes with some small, as they say, copper washers, but I don't believe these are copper. I believe these are stainless steel, actually. Um, that's just my guess, though, so don't hold me to that. And then my kit came with some basic uh, acorn-looking nuts. Um, from what I understand, there can be different nuts. There can be plain nuts, there can be nylock nuts, and there can be the acorn nuts. And the nut style doesn't make a difference. It's basically held in place by the torque you apply, so any nut will work. And gaskets on. Where did I? Oh. Alright, almost forgot. I had already inserted the large rubber gasket onto the pickup tube. The domed end goes towards the tube. Okay, and let's see exactly how much I have to struggle with this because the engine is not mounted. So that hole goes on that side. Uh, if I can get just a couple of these started. That's one on the top. Always got to drop something. Got a couple of them started. Okay, let's see if we can get one towards the bottom. Not a whole lot you can do. I could lay the motor flat on its top, but it doesn't like to sit that way. I'd have to block it up. Uh, that's too much trouble. I'm going to just snug these down a little bit. That should pull it in and give me room to work. All right. Need a little extension. I did not put the washers on, but that's okay. We're not tightening it all down yet, so. Now that it's in place, I'll go back, replace these one at a time with the washers. couple on there secured before I remove the two I started with.
always trying to lose parts. All right, good news is we got one washer left, one nut left, so that means we did something right. And we're going to break out a little antique today. I don't use an inch pound torque wrench very often, but uh, I've got this one. It's an old Sears Craftsman one. Because um, out of calibration, you can just bend the bar back to zero, really. Um, not incredibly accurate, but I don't think this really requires it. As long as I get it right around 60 pounds, uh, 60 inch pounds, and will be just fine. So just past 50. 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 Now you guys know I really like to go back and double check everything. When I'm twerking something like this, I obviously am not going to be accurate with this. I'm going more by feel and resistance. Um, I should probably update and get a little more modern torque wrench, but I don't use it often enough to worry about it really. All right, that's it. The oil sump is now on the engine. Good to go. One more job down, a little bit closer to a complete project. So thanks for watching. And remember, if you like what I'm doing, hit the like button to make YouTube happy. Subscribe to the channel and share these with your friends. Thanks for watching.